I'm presenting now some of the not-so-common sounds which I use in my piece Sunfish. The first is, this is a copper bar, simple stuff, and a cardboard box. Okay, next thing is this here. Those are uh, rattlesnake eggs. They have round ones and oval ones, but the round ones are really better. Okay, then we come to the Gopi chant, which should have this size, sort of 70 centimeters, and I'm just showing now the Vava. Okay, the mortar should be played very static. Okay. <clears throat> then I ask for a device from the dentist, which I can't find, so I have to replace it. It could be replaced by this Wawa tube. Here's the bird whistle three, which really should sound very sick and uh, stupid. Shouldn't be played too ambitious. So like I did, and yeah, that's all. It's a sort of night bird, I think it's a sort of owl, and yes, that's it. We come to this thing which I call Obi.
because of the company where you can buy this stuff in Germany. <coughs> it's called Obi, and it's a device from the electrician, I think. And you just blow into it. And then the tuning forks on the timpani. Not carefully, it might sound like a distortion. No, not with this one, I don't know why. Sometimes it's very distorted, like. I don't want that, I just want this. Yes, then the singer in the beginning has to have a bundle of small bottles and stuff. Just to give this ticket ticket, I don't know what, um, some sort of color. <laughs> yes, for the percussion player, I recommend this because there's not so much time to. Catch all those funny things. It's good to have them at the arm. And on the other hand, it's not dampening the skin. So you don't have to take it off. Yes, that's it. Then we come to the chain. To prepare this, you need to be patient because otherwise it falls down too early and then you have to do the stuff again. This is my, my um, unplugged drum machine. Come on. Yeah, not a very regular drummer, but he did his job. This is the end. I call this clock bell. It's from an old clock.
Okay, that's it.